When working with strings in C sharp, we have to wrap the string in double quotes to make it a valid string. So what happens if we want to have a string that contains double quotes? What if we're posting a quote attributed to someone, and we want to put double quotes around that quoted text? I have a variable here called text. I'll assign it to say, the woman said, then double quotes, get out of my way. Notice the woman said is in red, while get out of my way is black and blue. C sharp thinks that you're ending the string here because the second double quote marks the end of the string, and it starts interpreting get out of my way as if it were code, not a string. To get around this, we need to use what's called an escape sequence. All you need to do is put a backslash before each double quote that you want to include in the string. So I'll put a backslash before the quote that comes before get, and one right before the quote after the exclamation point. If I use the right line method to output the text variable to the console, compile the program, and we have quotes around get out of my way. There are other escape sequences that you can use. You can use an escape sequence to break to a new line, like if you press return on your keyboard. If we put backslash in before the quote and compile, now the quote is on a new line. You can make an alert sound using an escape sequence. Just put backslash a, compile it, and we get the alert sound. There are several others that we'll discuss as we need them, but they allow you to do things like put tabs in text, use single quotes, backslashes, and others. One last thing I'd like to talk about, though, is the verbatim string literal. Look at the way our string is formatted with the various escape sequences. How would you output this string exactly as it is, actually displaying these escape sequences? Like if you wanted the user to actually see the backslash A and not get an alert sound. In C sharp, we can do that with a verbatim string literal. All you need to do is place the at symbol before the double quotes, and everything inside those quotes will be output exactly as it is. Double quotes still need to be escaped though, because a double quote signifies the end of a string. To use double quotes inside a verbatim string literal, just add a second set of double quotes. Now, all of the text that is supposed to be a part of the string is in red, and this is a valid string. If I compile this, it outputs the string along with the escape sequences. So, to sum up, you can use escape sequences to show certain characters, skip to the next line, or play an alert. And you can use verbatim string literals whenever you want to include those escape sequences in a string without actually triggering them.